Hey Taurus, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of May general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a person reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, first let me say thank you guys so much for all the beautiful birthday wishes that you guys gave to your fellow Taurus, my daughter, um, Cookie. She turned 15 May 4th. Thank you guys so much. And I'm sending so much love to all of my Taurus natal um, sun signs out there. Happy birthday season. I hope that it has been enjoyable. Um, leave me a comment section below. You guys know I always respond. I always read the messages. Leave in a comment section below and let me know how your birthday season has been going so far, what your plans are. I'm very interested because, look, it was a busy one for my daughter's birthday. She had prom May 3rd, and then her birthday was May 4th. That weekend was insane. It was busy. It was beautiful, but it was it was busy. Henceforth, why you guys are getting the readings on Monday now, today, instead of yesterday, because I needed a 24-hour break. I needed to take a break. It was so busy. But again, it was beautiful. She enjoyed herself. She was surrounded by so much love. So again, including you guys' love. So thank you all so, so, so much for the beautiful messages and sentiments, okay? So jumping into the reading, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Holding You by Drew Hill. Now, the original members of Drew Hill were, you have a Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, and Aquarius. So you could be dealing with Scorpio, Taurus like yourself, Virgo or Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visual. The message that I got with that is literally, I heard it very clearly, something just seems a little off here. In the song Holding You, he talks about... Um, Holding you, it feels like someone's been touching you. And it, in other words, he was saying, like, it feels like you've been dealing with someone else because you're pulling back from me. You're acting distant. You're acting weird. Somebody may be accusing you of this, or you may be accusing someone of this, or you just feel like that. If you're completely single, it does feel like somebody that you were talking to, like, kind of building a rapport with. They just kind of distanced themselves, or they've kind of pulled back from the communication that you guys were trying to establish. I'm just getting it like somebody's acting weird. You know, it's like all of a sudden there's been a shift. In the way somebody is communicating with you or someone or a shift in the way someone has been acting with you. Okay. So or behaving towards you. So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the hair font. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for those cards. Current sleeve at the bottom of the deck, you guys have the Queen of Swords. Somebody may be coming off cold. The Queen of Swords is typically seen as someone who is like the ice queen, someone who's cold, someone who's aloof, someone who could be distant. Um, the communication may be different or very cutting. You see how she has the sword up like she's ready to cut somebody up, okay? It's something about the way they're communicating with you now is different. Or like I said, I'm just getting energy of where male or female, you just feel like this person is cold towards you, okay? And I did mention in Drew Hill, one of the members is an Aquarius. So, you you know, you have swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, you could be dealing with Aquarius, someone rise a Venus individual. Or this could be involving someone that you have been dealing with since Aquarius season, which you guys know is January, February time frame. So, again, we're going to do some shuffles. We're going to get into your reading. We want the hair font. Card comes before and card comes after. And then we shall get clarifiers. Now, currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Cups. This person came in, romanced you, swept you off your feet. And it seems like just as quickly as they came in, all of a sudden they're leaving. Or, yeah, it's like they left you hanging. Hanging, man. Major Arcana is definite energy. Now, keep in mind, we're in Taurus season. You see there's pentacles, pentacles to associate with Taurus. It's like they left you hanging and just you feel like they just cut you off, let you go. I'm getting that energy. Also, they came in, you know, hmm. What's the name of the song that came in like a rocking horse? Not a rocking horse, something like a wrecking came in like a wrecking ball. But I mean a rocking horse. Someone may have an actual rocking horse, like the 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 chair that children, and that's so old school. But someone may have something like that. That would be very specific, like an antique. Rocking horse or something like that. The song just came in like a wrecking ball, but I'm hearing rocking horse. <clears throat> this also could mean that someone was born in the year of the horse also. And I'm getting energy of like someone rocking a boat. Like the energy is kind of off between you and this individual. Very specific messages, but it may apply to someone out there. Okay. So again, we want your major arcana, which is the hair font. The card that comes before, the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers for those cards. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Most of my Tauruses have been showered with love, like beautiful um, energy. You guys know I always talk about how I'm surrounded by Tauruses and Leos. 
So I hope that you guys are definitely having an enjoyable and beautiful, wow, <laughs> you're at the very back of the deck, enjoyable and beautiful time. Okay, so you got the devil, and you guys know if I don't have a card behind it, I always go to the card in front, so you going back to this Knight of Cups, again, I keep saying, came in like a rocking horse, I keep hearing that in my head, but it's wrecking ball. So I do feel like this person came in immediately, sweep me off your feet, just like you felt so enchanted and mesmerized by this person, now you're seeing possibly the darker side of this person. Or how this person could be dismissive or something is not trustworthy with this person. I'm getting that very strong. Could be that little cancer Pisces Scorpio. We did have Scorpio and Drew Hill. And then you also have Capricorn with the devil. I'm I'm getting like somebody left you hanging like high and dry. Or it's like you just feel like somebody is just leaving you hanging like you don't know where they stand. You don't know where you and this person stand. I'm getting that also. Bottom of the deck, you whew, you have the queen of, keep in mind, at the very beginning, you had the queen of swords, now you have the king of swords. I want you also to notice with the king of swords, he has one, two, three butterflies over his head. So somebody could be involved in third party, doesn't have to be. Um, this is also because the butterflies are by his head, it could just be like this person has so much on their mind that they're just all over the place. When you think about butterflies, they don't have a specific destination, they just fly and they're all over the place. So mentally, because swords communication, mentally, this person could just be all over the place. And it's like one minute they were all focused on you and the next minute you just feel like, okay, where where are they? What, where are you with it? What's your choice? What's your decision? What's your plans with us moving forward? You can't see his eyes. I always say the eyes are the gateway to the soul. So it's like, it's something about this person that you're not seeing. You feel like this person is hiding something. Or someone could be accusing you of that always. You know, keep in mind, you can flip it and put it where it applies. It's part of the deck, the world card, travel, this is for a movement. There's your energy. So you have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Um... I do feel like somebody is wanting to decide, okay, are we moving forward? Are you moving away from me? What's, you know, what's going on here? I'm getting that energy also. Let's get a clarifier for the Knight of Cups as well as the Devil for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Look at that. You have the um, Lovers, Gemini, and then you also have the Justice, Libra. There's a decision that needs to be made. Justice is like a fair and true decision. And then the Lovers, of course, has to do with your love situation and also choices. I'm hearing one more shuffle. You got two major arcanas back to back. So this is a big decision somebody has to make here. And all of a sudden, I got really, really hot. Somebody may be hot, like literally. I got flames around them. I just literally just was really hot. So someone could be angry. You know how when somebody says, like, in slang, if someone says that they're angry, like, man, I'm so hot right now. Like, somebody may be angry. Or someone may do something to anger you or did something to anger you. Yep, you got the Empress in reverse, okay? Now, when you have the Empress in reverse, keep in mind, Empress and the Emperor, their divine counterparts, they are in union, okay? You will not see one without the other, typically. Um, or when you see one, the other was very close behind. In reverse, it's like, it's like I, I, what I was picking up earlier, they came in, wooed you, swept you off your feet, and then all of a sudden, they switched up on you. Because even if you see how it is here on the table, his back, is facing the Knight of Cups. His back is even facing your energy. So it's like somebody just turned their back on you or they were just all of a sudden very weird. And you may have felt like this was your person because the Emperor and the Empress, they're divine counterparts. You may have felt like this is my person. And then all of a sudden it reverses like, you know what, no. I, I really get somebody feels as though someone's hiding something. I also want to address with the King of Swords, you had three butterflies over his head. And with the Empress, she is the three. It's typically on this card at the bottom, but she have the three here. So something, it could be a third party. Could be, doesn't have to be. Also on a day that has a three in it, the third, 13th, 23rd, 30th, 31st, may resonate with the situation. Also, it may have been three days since you've heard from this person. And just, because I, I, I am getting the energy of like ghosting for someone. Let's get a clarifier for the night. Well, damn, that flew out. Two cards, okay? I'm going to pick it up so you can slide and see. How it landed, you have the King of Cups in reverse, you got two flipped out immediately. See, then I say it could possibly be a third party. One, two, three. Okay. So you got the Six of Pentacles up under the devil. We'll talk about that in a second. I definitely feel like for some of you all, this person came in and like swept you off your feet. Now all of a sudden they're emotionally detached. I want you to notice right here there's a ship relationship behind him. You have it in reverse. Okay. So here's the thing: upright his feet on the ground. With that toe is tiptoeing towards that water. So this could be a very emotional person. Um, whenever the king and queen is in reverse, it's like someone who has been stripped of their title, dethroned, made to feel small, or they're abusing their power. So it's like this person came in and swept you off your feet, and then all of a sudden they're pulling back emotionally. That's what I'm getting with that energy. And then with the devil being clarified by the six of pentacles in reverse, this is someone being breadcrumb, scales, things being, you know, trying to balance it. If somebody feels like 
things are balanced, just giving you breadcrumbs. But in reverse, there's absolutely no balance here. So I definitely feel like somebody, somebody has been very sketchy with their affections, very sketchy with their energy. And I, I do feel like for a lot of y'all, you may feel like, okay, this person is putting in a third party. Because I'm going to say again, you can't see his eyes, which means something that is hidden. And then you do have three people here in reverse is that you're not seeing it because his eyes are covered. So you're not seeing that there could be a third party involved, specifically an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Of course, you are a Taurus, so you may be finding this out in Taurus season. Someone also could be a life path for person of year six. Somebody could be a uh, June Cancer also because you have cups here, Cancer by Scorpio, then you have six right across from it. So someone could be a June Cancer with strong earthy placements in their chart. Again, towards Virgo Capricorn. Uh, put it where it applies for you all as well. But nonetheless, the overall message, I feel like somebody, somebody switched up. There was a big switch up here. And it's just like something just feels off. Something, you know, something just feels a little off. Something doesn't feel right. I'm, I'm going to say also for some of you all who your intuition has been telling you something isn't off. This this keeps giving me like a feeling like, okay, it's something that you're not seeing about a third party. Someone's giving to more than just you and a connection here. For some of you all, that's not always the case. Third party, actual person is not always the case. It could actually be just work life as well. Like they're giving you crumbs because they're so focused on work. Because pentacles could be your work life as well. Your work, your domestic situation as well. Also, I'm getting somebody's living situation is a bit off. Like, you've never been to their house or something like that. I feel like they may live with an ex or they live with family. It's something like that they're not telling you about. It's something that you don't see. I'm definitely getting living with an ex possibly because you do have these two people dancing with the devil. Those are romantic partnerships or romantic liaisons right there as well. Okay? So, Taurus, someone rising in Venus individuals, as always, I would ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.